Hello everybody, it's Doom here, and today I'm going to be doing a Garage Haunt update. Um, so this is going to be the second haunt build of the season, which is long overdue, and I've been meaning to do it for a while, but I've just been so busy um, working on the inside, which you will see in a second, but I've also been putting up some of these spiders that you can see in the house. There's Freddy Krueger, and also some of these skeletons that are actually climbing the house which I think is really cool. And then if we also come over here, we can see Inferno Pumpkin Skeleton, which yes, we have an awesome new light and some pumpkins here. And he looks absolutely amazing right here. Anyway, time to show you inside. So here is where you will be walking in. Not much, it's not fully decorated right now. And it's going to be pitch black, remember that as well. We just have some black sheets for the walls um, with a bunch of chain here as well. And of course we also have some of these mirrors across here. Um, and also this mirror right here, um, which has help on it and blood. Then this sky right here, just... That, that's basically all he does, but it actually is hooked to a pulley system, which will make him, like, fall down, which is a pretty cool touch. And also a spider right there, which is also hooked to a pulley system that will fall down. And you're probably wondering who this is. That's just a little broken animatronic. Uh, and we got that probably a few years back on sale from Canadian Tire. Anyway, we have some blood on here, which I will redo. This is all from last year. Um, and then in here, you have the control booth, which has a video right here. I don't think you can see that. It's just too bright. Um, but also the pulleys right here. Actually, they're right here. Got pulley one, pulley two, and pulley three. And then come in here, and we have... My custom pneumatic nun animatronic, which will be popping up from behind this table. We also have a little strobe light here um, that lights up her face like that. Anyway, super cool. I love the way it turns out. Uh, it turned out, and I will be doing. I'll, I'll be doing a video all, of all this in the dark as well um, when it's all fully ready. Then we also have a bat right there, which will flap its wings. And of course, we have Nightcrawler. Um, we also have some lasers. I don't know if you can see. Um, that little green dot is one of them. But in the dark, the lasers with the fog creates a super cool effect. Kind of like Laser Swamp, but not really. Just a bunch of lasers. And then here, we have a drop-down portrait. Um, and also, forgot to mention that... Uh, this is a drop-down mirror as well. So if you want to see how we work it, basically you just come into this little cramped space, um, and there is a video camera right there, so you can see when people pass by. Basically, you just take this, and you drop it down, go for the scare once you see them on the monitor. Same thing here, except it's really loud. Yeah, that <laughs> was pretty loud. Um, so it just drops down like that. Anyway, once um, you walk past all that, you enter the dark zone. Now this is, has some sheets on top here to make it even darker. Um, we are miss the wall is just up right here. Um, so it's, it's not even at its darkest right now. But then you walk out and there is a very narrow hallway with the ghost girl over there, some lights that just light up. Um, and also, there will be a jump scare from a person behind here. And the person behind here will actually be working a button for Nightcrawler, um, and they'll be looking through like little holes in the sheets. Um, and also, they'll be controlling um, the nun animatronic as well. And then once you walk around this corner, we have, um, so we used to have this like Tower of Terror um, costume that was like an inflatable, um, make you like eight feet tall. Anyway, we've had multiple of those that we've had to renew because they broke. So just repurposing it. 
Um, and in the dark, it might, it actually kind of looks like someone's there. That's why we have the boots there. And yeah, it's pretty scary in the dark. And also we have some bats up there along with a ghost girl and a step pad. When you step there, this jumping spider will go off. And also someone will set off Mr. Dark. And the person who sets off Mr. Dark will be behind here with a button. So yeah, that's basically it for the garage haunt for now. Um, of course, it's not lights out. We have all sorts of like cool, um, like these lights will be going. Um, and also a bunch of cool effects and tons of fog, tons of fog. Um, and yeah, we'll also have like some lightning here and also some other decorations like hanging body parts, especially in this hallway. Um, anyway, that is basically all I can cover for the garage haunt. So let's go inside. So first on the inside, we come around this corner and the devil will be right here. He'll be going back and forth like he does. And then we also have this right here and also the door, which will be completely blocked off. So no light from outside can get in here. Um, also, there will be um, something that will be blocking people from going completely all the way to the end so that they have to enter the dining room, which is new for this year. So let me just turn the lights on. All right, the lights are now on, so you'll just be walking in here. There's actually a step pad right here, which is set off the spider. It's actually on. Um, Gordo will actually be outside, so he's not gonna be here. But Emmeline is gonna be jumping sort of out, out of here. Um, now she's just moved in for the moment, but she'll be moved all the way back. Um, and also we have Phantom, which will just be going on constant, um, just welcoming his guests. And then you walk around here, we have Grim Girl in this little DIY co coffin, also with a doll, which I think is really creepy. And then, of course, we have Darling Dolly in the corner. She's in her down position right now, but she will be jumping down when people come by with the sensor. And also we have Rosemary in the corner, which we'll probably pick up on uh, when Emmeline jumps out. So yeah, that's it for the dining room. And then you just come through here and you leave. So that is it for the haunt. But we still have lots to do, lots to decorate um, for sure. And yeah. And I stepped on that. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please feel free to put a like down there and subscribe if you are not already. Um, it really helps out a ton and motivates me to make more videos like this. Anyway, that is going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Doom, out.